hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nze Kanabasi and if this is your first time of seeing my video on YouTube please subscribe turn on the post notification bell like my video and share it and if you are seeing me from Facebook please follow my page um, share my video and like my video so I'll be looking at the the story from uh, out of Africa about the family of 12 children eight are dead and the current remain four are all sick you know there are some people who were born normal but became disabled to due to different issues such is the case of these children who are suffering from backbone disease okay they are born normal but at the moment they are suffering from a disease that has affected them in different ways okay these children are all grown up before they get sick and since then they have been suffering from backbone di disease okay the mom who is the only person that is not affected shared the story and said that she and the husband got married several years ago and they have had 12 children but unfortunately eight of the children died and uh, they were left with four children not long after that two of the children got infected with backbone disease she said she has tried to look for solution but their condition couldn't be cured at the moment all the children have been infected with the disease and they have no choice than to live their life that way so the mom was like that the husband and her when they got married there was no such thing and uh, the husband was sentenced to life imprisonment and he's currently serving jail term so it's the woman alone that has been left to fend for these four disabled children of hers and uh, during uh, the interview the eldest son who is named charles was interviewed and he revealed that his case was different because he got married to a beautiful woman and they were happily married but he got infected with the disease as at this point it made me wonder is it a disease or is, is it more like a cause that affects them because they seem to be born normal they grow up very well and then the, the disease hits them at a particular is it an ancestral cause from the father's background or the mother's background and but if it is a, a cause maybe the father should be released or the government should look at it so that the father is released and look to the roots to break this covenant okay so the first born son by name Charles said his wife who gave birth to his son at that time when he was fine but the very moment this disease struck him the the wife abandoned him and their child so he returned to his mother's house and he has been living with her since then and the funny part of the thing is the son also was born okay then he was also affected by this disease after a few years so and uh, we know when their backbone you have uh, like in nigeria we see it as hunchback but it is uh, a backbone disease so they, they the four of them all men can't really do any work any hard work due to the condition so it is all now on their mother to fend for these four remaining children three boys one girl and uh, the young grandson so it's not easy on this woman the mother said that she is the only one who is not disabled and it, it make me wonder at this point if the wife is not disabled the husband is not disabled where does this disease come from you will, someone will not say it's from food or the environment or malnutrition this disease keeps going in the line it waits for them to grow up to a particular age and it strikes this looks more like a cause somebody had caused this family or something the generation had done and somebody caused or I mean, maybe sometimes in nigeria we feel oh they did something bad to someone that had a hunchback or they killed a hunchback and they caused now falls on the family because this is too good to be a normal disease that is hereditary it passing it passes through everybody but why is the father himself not affected 
and why is the mother himself mother herself not affected it begs the question is there anything the father knows and the mother doesn't know because if the mother knew she wouldn't want to pass through the plight of seeing the children suffer so uh, let me hear your own opinion down in the uh, comment section do you see it as a cause or is it a disease because i feel sorry for them i know the stress this woman has been passing through to feed these five people all her own and what happens when she passes away she can't continue to do this the rest of her life uh please if you've not subscribed please subscribe and if you've not followed my page please follow my page thank you and god bless